Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today we'll see another case of workforce planning configuration. In today's example I'm going to show you how do you add a new benefit type. So in my example one of my business requirement is to add an education assistance program. This is, a, this is one of the benefit employer provides to the employee. So let's see how to add this. So education assistance program is basically an employer benefit. It's an employee benefit in which an employer pays for an employee education expenses. It provides tuition reduction or scholarship grant or an employee spouse to an employer spouse or dependent. So basically employer pays some part of the tuition fees, some or complete tuition fees to the employee. And this is the benefit I need to add into my workforce planning. Let's see how to do this. So in order to do this, first I'm going to create a new benefit under component dimension member called employee education benefit. So go to dimension, select workforce planning, support queue, workforce planning support queue under component dimension, add new benefit called employee education assistance. So these are a couple of benefits you have, add a sibling, employee education assistance and this is never share and keep rest of the property as default so you add new assistance education assistance program and what will the value of it the value of it will be 12 percent of basic salary therefore under account dimension I need to add education assistance rate under workforce planning assumption add new option workforce planning option this is a new option called education assistance rate assistance rate this is save assumption and it's an average type the save assumption it will be only storing the 12% uh, of the basic salary because we made a structure change and therefore you should refresh your database to add a new benefits and benefit rates so invoke cube refresh this will take few seconds this is still going on it'll take another few more seconds okay cube cube refresh got completed successfully so now we will add the default rates so go to application configuration, application configuration, workforce planning, workforce module, under workforce module select benefit and taxes and here select a type of benefit, education assistance benefit and what component type it is, it is basically based on rates it could be fixed value, it could be based on rates and threshold. In this example, it is based on rate table. And which part of the financial account? This is other benefits. So in other words, when you integrate this workforce planning with financial planning module, workforce planning, it will map with your financial planning under other benefit type. What is your payment term? This is being paid on monthly basis for calendar year, it's a flat amount no it's a percentage of salary the percentage of salary it's a taxable it's non-taxable so here i define percentage of salary and next and close how much percentage it is you define over here so i say it's a 12 percent or 10 percent of basic salary So it's like 10% and simple drag and drop. Next and save it. 10% of basic, 10% of basic salary as you see it over here. So 
okay now I I keep on writing steps over here so step one we add a new benefit called employee education assistance program then step second we add new option called employee education benefit percentage and then we define employee education benefit percentage as 12 percent of basic salary now we define uh, add new hiring request for a sales operation analyst the new hiring request sales operation analyst so the salary default given for sales operation analyst as grade number four so as you configure workforce planning you define salary default in our case the salary default for sales operation analyst is grade 4 and grade 4 employee basic salary is 90,000 grade 4 employee for FI21 basic salary is 90,000 I have taken a snapshot over here in order to show the co-relationship in this case we would be using sales operation analyst with grade 4 and grade 4 employee salary is 90,000 annual salary so I'm going to add new hiring request for sales operation analyst with salary as default salary this is step number fifth add benefit uh, validate salary sales operation analyst belong to gate number 4 and grade 4 employee Basic salary is 90,000. Now, next time I'm going to raise a hiring request. But before that, I'll add benefit default to sales operation analyst. So, step four define default benefits, different default salary, default benefits to sales operation analyst under action, add benefit default select your benefit type education assistance to which job in this case we would be using a specific job category you could have selected all job as well sales operation analyst and union code and option i it's a part of education assistance rate i'll be using option education assistance rate which is 12 percent so launch it now you have sales operation as a default benefit for this job grade this job sales operation list default benefit now we raise a new hiring request and uh, the salary and benefit to be calculated on the fly number of hiring request is one requisition one one full-time employee and employee type is regular in this example it could have been contract and temporary but in this case i would be using as a regular employee so start year and start month is mandatory because a regular employee we do not know and year and end month and what job the default job we have chosen over here as sales operation analyst so select from the job list sales operation analyst Union code, default union code, and salary, the default salary. Default salary and default benefits. Now you see new hiring request would have added. A new hiring request has been added, right, with this salary component. 116. So the total benefit is 19,800. Let's see the detail of this benefit. Detail of this benefits, you can see it. The total salary is 90,000, which is actually coming as a default salary over here for sales operation analyst who belongs to grade number four, right? So the 90,000 coming from here, let's see the benefit in Texas. So in order to see the benefits, you can go to employee details, select employee name or hiring request number. This is hiring request number one and doesn't belong to any project. So hiring request number one uh, in the bottom you can see the salary and default so total salary is 90,000 for annual salary and education assistance is 10% right we have given 10% so this is where you get 750 
isn't it take a snapshot of it and there you can validate in this example uh, let me take again you see the salary fringe benefit medical benefits and education assistance we are actually looking at education assistance so take a snapshot and there you can see the reason how it is getting calculated this is 10 percent of salary right and where did you define this under application configuration so go back and validate this application configuration under workforce planning benefits and taxes benefit and taxes select your benefit type at education assistance and this is where we define 10 percent 10 percent of basic salary which is 90,000. so this is how system actually calculates salaries and benefits right you can see it over here the salary 90,000 is coming from here right the salary 90,000 coming from here at the default salary and from the default salary system is calculating 90,000 <coughs> sorry <coughs> 90,000 default salary which is calculated over here and 10% Education assistance is 10%, which is 10% 10 of 750, 9000 divided by 12, 750. 10% of this is 750. This is 7500. This is grade 4 salary, and this is education assistance benefit. So, this example demonstrates how actually system calculates benefits and taxes. So these are the steps. First step, you add new benefit, employee education assistance. Let's quickly recapitulate, add new benefit, add new option, education employee, employee education benefit percentage. There you add, define employee education benefit percentage as 12% of basic salary and it's non-taxable. Then you define salary default to job called sales operation analyst. He belongs to grade number four and default salary for grade four is 90,000. Then you define a default benefits for sales operation analyst, which is 12%, 12% over here. And finally, you add new hiring request and validate default salary and benefits. default salary and benefits so that's it for today should you have more questions please feel free to write to us thank you